Hi guys. Um, I wanted to come and do this particular video. Um, it's kind of a, a well, I don't want to call it a dating video, but I guess it's about dating. And, but I think more so in a way, it's kind of about the differences between younger women and older women. And I guess by, by older, I guess maybe I mean over 40, maybe 45, maybe, um, as opposed to younger women because you know I think so many times women especially just get grouped you know we just get grouped into the whole pot with everybody else with all with all the other women and I think that's a big mistake and I think it causes a lot of confusion a lot of hurt for younger women and older women um, I mean first of all grouping is not something anyone you know I mean no one should be grouped whether by race by gender by age um, it, it just shouldn't happen because so many times there's so many exceptions to the rules um, I think and I think you know with the grouping I think it's really a, a level it's a sign of uh, immaturity <laughs> that you can't be broad-minded enough to look at things from all sides and all scopes so with that being said uh unfortunately it happens with the women so much it happens uh with the black women horribly and so you know there are so many relationship quote-unquote gurus and relationship experts and you know these ones who come out as experts on women and they're advising men and things like this and um they may have points i mean everybody can't just be totally wrong so i'm sure they have points i'm sure because i don't listen to a whole bunch of them i mean honestly when it comes to like love advice and love gurus and things like this um there may be one guy that i kind of listen to um a little bit more so than others um and the other ones uh i of course i haven't listened to all of them but i really think that so many of the other ones are just really out here teaching men game and teaching men how to manipulate and and you know there's some with women too and I, I don't listen to them either you know that are just teaching how to get the bag you know teaching how to tell a good enough lie to get what you want and then dump him and I you know that it's it's not me it's never been me and I'm just speaking personally you know for myself I you know I already know I'm a unicorn, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm very rare and very, you know, and that's not even to hype myself up. That's just the truth. You know, I, I never have really been one to really, you know, win at games in love because I never, at first I never knew how to play. I didn't even know so many times I was in a game and um it just doesn't feel right to me even now at my age i you know i know a lot of the games out there now <laughs> thankfully um don't know them all of course but more so now it's it's my feeling it's my intuition it's my you know just mm, something ain't right you know that i listen to but you know when i was younger man i was i i got into train wreck after train wreck because i really wasn't love smart i really i'm just being honest i was not because i didn't like i said i didn't realize that it was as much game out there 
as it is. <laughs> and, and because I was always true and honest and I always just wanted what I gave out. If I give you love, I want love back. If I give you honesty, I want honesty back. If I tell you what I want and what I'm looking for, it really is what I want and what I'm looking for, you know? And I've always had um, issues with, with men, even husband that I married, you know? I have married more than once. And even them, and even on into, like, more than two, three years into the marriage would be like, uh-uh, that, that ain't you. That's not the real you. No, you said and said such and such. And it's like, no, I'm really not. I, I am telling you I'm being honest and I'm, you know. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. That is one of the things, and I'm still speaking of me personally, that has hurt me and that usually hurts me the most that has me to really go ahead and get rid of a person um, and that is when that person I have been on open honest and real with you and you basically tell me you don't know me or you basically act like you don't know me or you act like I'm lying or I'm making it up and I'm you know because my thing is always like you should know this about me by now. But, I mean, I guess there's so many people out there playing games until, you know, it's just, it's crazy and it's sad. You know, one of the things, uh, and I'm going to give this and then I'm going to get into, you know, what I want to talk about. But, you know, I was in a kind of a long distance on and off not on and off, but a long distance uh, situation with a person who um, I could, I knew I couldn't really technically totally be with them, which is fine, and you know, and I accepted that, and I accepted where the relationship was and so forth um, for a very long time. I mean, for a long time. And when me and that person finally met, you know, um, I had been me the whole time and I asked them there was something going on in this situation and I and I I said something to them they said something to me and I was like you don't know me like you don't you know and it was crazy because that was the fallout <laughs> kind of oh well I'm not gonna say that was the fallout but that's what made my heart turn because there was an instance or two or three <laughs> that started to come up that I had known this person so long, like five years, and they're telling me they don't know me. Like, I'm telling you, you know, and I'm like, so, I mean, you should know me by now. Like, and they're honestly looking at me, shaking their head when we finally met and going, no. And I'm thinking, wow. You know, and I don't know, that just, it, it hurt, it hurt. Um, but I guess, you know, people play so many games, you know, I guess, but I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not good enough to hold on to a game for three, four, five, however many years. I mean, I'm, I'm really not, and that's why, I don't know, I guess that's why it bothered me so. But getting into the video, I, I think... You know, um, the difference. There's so many differences between older and younger women. Um, a lot of times, we, we see these gurus. We see this one particular, one in particular guy who gives women advice. Uh, don't even know why they call up to him and ask him anything. But um, this one thing is that I think women are the, you keep hearing this term modern day women, modern day women. I don't even know if it has so much to do with modern day women as maybe even it has to do with the gender, the, the age gap. I really think, as I said, younger women are looking for quite different things from older women. And 
you know. Uh, one in particular is when these women call up looking for marriage and asking this guy advice on marriage and what a what a man wants in a woman to that he wants to marry and things like this. And I think so many of those women get hurt and their feelings hurt and talk bad to because they're even first of all because the dude is an idiot but second of all because they're even coming to him with that type of mentality and i think marriage and everything has been so demonized in this modern day society but men I don't even, I think if you say something about marriage, I think it's an instant straight turn off to all men of all ages. I really do. All, I really do. I just, I just don't think it's good. Um, but that also is the difference between younger women and older women. Because most older women, uh, by the time they get somewhere in their 40s or older, they've been there done that a lot of them are not looking for marriage again they're, they're really not uh some maybe who have not been married maybe but like me i i wouldn't i would not get married again <laughs> i would not i don't even want to live with a man because it's the same equivalent you, you're going to be put in the same situation as being married you're just not going to have the paper and to me, once again, that paper really just complicates things. And I say, I'm not saying that it's not important, it doesn't mean anything. But what I'm saying is that when you look at so many of the state laws, and you have to, you have to look at state, at these laws and, and so forth when it comes to marriage, when it comes to even you know cohabitating with people because so many times you know just cohabitating with people when you are trying to get rid of that person or when you're sick of the relationship or whatever you want them to move out whatever you pretty much almost have to go through the same thing as a marriage you really do I mean you if both of y'all brought stuff into the home if both of y'all you know this is mine this is yours or no I already had this and y'all got bank accounts together and I, I mean it's seriously going to be the equivalent of getting a divorce and so I think that's very important especially for younger women who are looking into or looking or are in a relationship like that where you're cohabitating because I think that's something we don't think about you know you're just looking at oh me and my boyfriend for the move in together mm, nah you know and older women know this and and so many times like i say we've been there done that you know we, we we i don't feel like cleaning up nobody's socks i don't feel like you know nobody plate and bowl that they left on the table and you got to get that and clean and then just the expectation of having to take care of them usually also and i'm just being honest there's exception to every rule most men just carry that type of um expectation you know they just expect the woman to clean up after them to do for them to whatever and you know um yeah i, I just don't want to do that i was going to get into something but no I, I'm, I don't want to do that anymore i really don't um younger women like i say who have not had those experiences you know it might be fun and cute to them you know and so that's what they're looking for so i think when these men and these gurus and so forth tell these women that you know oh, a man ain't gonna marry you because of this and because of that and because you won't submit and because you were you know i think it hurts younger women more because they haven't had the experience and they just want it whereas once again like i say older women we've had our freedom we've been single many of many of us for a long time and so we've we've seen both sides we've had both sides we've, we've experienced both sides and so we're not looking to get into some relationship where you where i have to submit to you i mean and it's not even about the submitting because we both should be submitting to one another to me it is about partnership you do for me i do for you if my feet hurt this week, rub my feet. Your feet hurt next Tuesday, I'm going to rub your feet. You know, if you go into the kitchen to get some coffee, 
next week I'm gonna come bring you some I mean it just it, it shouldn't be so calculated to me it should just be you're just there to meet the needs of a person who you care about it's not oh I'm the man you gotta submit or I'm the woman you're supposed to be my I mean just it, it it's all this expectation for me and this expectation this purposeful expecting of of stuff just to me puts a whole damper on things because it's, it's too calculated like with me i just go and live from the heart if i'm in the kitchen and you know i'm just going to bring you some coffee if i know you drink coffee i'm just going to bring it because i got myself some it has nothing to do with i'm serving you you're my man you're my it don't have anything to do I'm, i don't think like that and I think when people come into relationships and hold uh, in onto relationships like that and with those type of mentalities, it, to me it just messes up stuff because I, like I say, all that purposeful stuff, you know, it's just, I don't think purposefully. I just do. <laughs> I just do. And I just expect you to do. I mean, I, it's not even expectation. If you're in the kitchen and you know I drink coffee or you know... If you're getting some water, ask me, do I want some? I, I probably don't, but I mean, just, just, it's just courtesy and respect. That, that's what it is to me. Okay, let's get into this. People, this whole thing about, oh, well, man ain't going to be taking care of no woman who's sitting there and ain't going to be paying her bills and blah, blah, blah. I don't think, maybe there are, that there's a lot of women out here just expecting men to pay all their bills I, I we don't even live economically in a society where we can do that most people if you're living together married whatever you pretty much have to have two incomes i i, I mean unless he is pretty rich and well off um which isn't the case of the average man especially average black man you know, you, he is not going to just be able to just pay your bills and let you sit home. Second of all, society has changed so much from that until he going to get dogged by his friends. He going to get, and, and most men care, seem like to me, more about their friends and the opinion of their friends than they do about a woman or whatever. They are so afraid of looking like a simp or whatever until simping is a whole other video that needs to be made. But at the end of the day, I think because without going into details to make the video too long, I have been in that situation more than once. And I think what happened ultimately was that they just get tired. The men just get tired. It wasn't that I wasn't a good wife. It wasn't that I wasn't cooking, cleaning, doing everything I was supposed to do because I was. But I think, you know, I think they just get tired of doing it. <laughs> I really do. I think they just get tired. And I think it's really sad and unfair uh, for the woman, especially if she has no income and especially if, she has not been putting money back and away and aside for herself because you're going to need it. You're going to need it because I, once again, personal story, have been in, like I said, those situations to where, you know, when all things fail, whether it was my decision or their decision, because it's been mutual, um, you got to start over you have to completely start over and this for me was you know me coming from a very independent state at first and i'm when i say state i mean state of being at first and then falling into that with them of you know oh i just want to take care of you whatever doing that and then when they get tired or when they whatever you gotta pick your own self up and basically start over if you have nothing else you know where you know a lot of a lot of times women don't so I would always advise a woman to have a job to have some income to in whatever way you're gonna do that online uh, 
outside job, whatever, a woman always needs to have something to take care of herself. That, that traditional, you know, he the man, he paying all the bills, whatever, that, it's, it's, in this society and the way things are now, it's foolish. It's foolish to expect that. It's, it's really foolish to want that. And as I say, it, it's a difference from, uh, and it's really, I'm, I'm going to say fantasy, <laughs> you know, because um, it's just not saying at all that it doesn't happen and can happen. I'm just saying a woman needs a fallback. And I think once again, older women to younger women, older women are not looking for that. We, we, we already know. We're not looking for that. Um, you know, um, another difference between, I think, older women and younger women is, you know, a lot of older, a lot of younger women are looking for that just straight, you, you, you committed to me, you, if you, if you leave me, if you do anything dishonest, if you cheat, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna cut the, cut everything your stuff up, cut, cut all your stuff up, um, Throw all your clothes up, uh, out, slash your tires, burn your stuff. Older women is not, we're not going through all that drama. <laughs> we already going through that. We're not going through all of that drama because at the end of the day, I, personally speaking again, I'm not saying that I don't expect a man not to cheat or whatever. I'm not saying that at all. I think that's just common decency. But I'm saying... I think in so many ways you have to look at, um, you know, you have to look at the, be realistic, be realistic, you know, I think at this point, uh, to bring the video on, on to a close, not that older women are not looking or expecting for a man to cheat it's it's the fact that if he does and whatever we i mean we're not getting ready to tear all your stuff up or whatever unless i don't know if it's a long time marriage they've been married 30 40 years what i mean maybe but a, a older woman who has dated around and is a date in a dating phase um is not looking necessarily for all that just one-on-one -on -one, uh commitment commit commit commitment i think like i said it's just common courtesy but i think more so men always look for that and even even when they're cheating even when they know that they're still dating other people and they still for whatever reason i guess just because they're men and many times feel like they own you uh they feel like they should get complete and total uh uh, honesty and dedication from you and um, yeah they kind of go berserk when they don't when you when they don't get it you know so I think if you're dating especially as an older woman younger woman as well but if you're dating around then it, you need to be open and honest and say yeah I'm dating around I'm not interested at all in a one-on-one -on -one committed relationship with you I am dating multiple people I am dating I think that's just open. I think that's just honest. I wish men would be more honest with that. But men have this thing that they already know that women kind of want that security and whatever. And I think so many of them, they, they just straight up lie. They just straight up lie and tell you what you want to hear. But I think it's foolish of a woman to think that if he's any way near handsome, if he's any way near got a good job, if he's any way near a halfway decent person, more than likely he there is other women who's interested. And a lot of times, more than likely, he's dating, talking to, messing with whatever. I mean, it just it's it's just life. Like I mean, keep your options open and stop being so just. Oh, I'm just gonna be tied down to this one person. I haven't seen in my life where it works like that just being honest maybe it does and 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 i know that it does in some situations but i think for the most part in just the whole dating whatever out here today i don't think it's realistic i really don't i don't think that's realistic if you find it it's and it's what you want it's wonderful but i just say be honest 
be open, be honest, and and don't lower. When, okay, don't have so many expectations. Don't lower them at all. Do not have so many. You have to give way for people and their mistakes and their and just their humanity. You just have to make way for that. You you just have to. And when you don't, you set your own self up for, you know, <laughs> you just set yourself up. You got to ask the questions. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, honestly, right now I'm sort of halfway talking to someone right now, and I haven't asked all the questions that I need to ask. I really haven't. And some of it, I mean, I don't really know why. I, I just really haven't asked those questions, you know. Um, but I think that we, I know I'm going to, but I, I think we really need to get to that, you know. So, you know, I'm going to leave it there. I may do a part two or, or a continuation of this. But, you know, I think it is a big difference between older women and younger women. And the things that we look for and the things that we are expecting from men. Older women are a lot more lax. <laughs> we are a lot more not tripping. We are a lot more have been there, done that. And I think a lot of young women are just still maybe caught up in that fantasy. They're still caught up in a non-reality of, of, of how stuff just, it's just not like that. And I think that's how they get hurt. And I think that's how their their expectations get just completely blown out of the water be, and, and they get hurt. Here's another thing, lastly, especially black women. Please open up your dating options. Please date out. Please date other men. Please go outside of your community and go and date someone that you would never have even thought. You will be so surprised how you all get along. You would be so surprised how down to earth other people, cultures and everything really are. And you would be so surprised, pleasantly surprised, I believe, how interesting they are and how you all really to really do get along. The two of you really do get along. I mean, it ain't gonna be just one person. It's not one nationality. It's not you know, just one whatever. I mean, really, truly keep your option to open. That's not saying either, like men seem to always put in their head, that you're sleeping with all of them. That don't mean that at all. Dating don't mean sleeping together with, with people. If you do, you grown, take precautions, be careful. Ain't nobody's business. One of the, one of the huge uh, problems, I think, that women make and do is telling a man that they're sleeping with other men or telling a man that they're even don't even tell a man that you're dating other people i'm i'm, not, I'm sorry and i i know i said honesty and openness and all this but men can't handle that <laughs> men cannot handle that they from day one so many of them claim you as theirs even if you're in their harem they still expect you to be yours and uh, uh, be theirs, I'm sorry. And so they just, yeah, they look at you completely differently if you are dating other men. So I, I would tell you in all honesty and in all um, just being real, I personally wouldn't tell a man if I'm dating other Now, if he just ask. And you know that y'all are just whatever. Yeah, maybe. You know, if he said he's dating other people, then yeah, okay, yeah, I am. You know, but if it's, I don't, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult. It's really difficult. I haven't been asked that. I really haven't. But if I had been asked, if I, when I do get asked, if I am dating other people at the at that time, yeah, I am. If I'm not committed to you, if I'm not, we just in this straightforward whatever, then yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth. Period. But, you know, what I'm going to tell you and to, ex you know, to be expected of, ladies, is that most men can't handle it. 
They cannot handle it. And you're going to get looked at different. You're going to get judged different. You know, it just is what it is. So, guys, I'm going to cut the video off. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, we'll see you next time.